Hi everybody, it's Nancy again. I know, second video in a row, huh? But I was in my studio while I was making the last video and I haven't been in here in a long, long time, like three weeks or so. So I thought, well, I want to play a little. So I made some stuff that I'm going to show you now. And uh, now my neck hurts, I have to stop. So I thought I'd make a quick video. And look, this is from my garden. It's uh, lilac, the first lilac. And this is my Oma's, my grandmother's smell. So I cut a whole bunch, they're almost in every room now. And it seems like my Oma is here. I just love these. And I'm not a purple person at all, but it's because of my grandmother, I think. I love that smell. Okay. So, I was making flowers, but by any means, I'm not a good flower maker, okay? But I saw this on a video, and I want to say it was Tutu Amy also, but I am not very sure, okay? And this is a uh, cup paper, like this, uh, like this, and I only have white. I'm going to buy me some pink, though and make maybe make some more so i followed the tutorial of vilma she did it and i did some fabric roses like these uh from vilma's tutorial but i followed that tutorial and just did it on crepe paper and i thought they were kind of cute you know to put on little gift boxes or gift bags or something and there i put some um eyelash trim right here oh and this is one of those stick pin thingies this here you know it has a hole into center and you put your stick pin through but it fit in there perfectly so uh, I did that and I then I did one more and I had to uh, mist them myself with homemade glimmer mists because I only have white and this this was actually the first one I made and I burnt the 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 crepe paper a little bit when I was drying the glimmer mist. They're still a little wet. The, the, oh my gosh, see I'm in paint now so I can't even think. Um, the stickles. I, I put stickles on the edges. Can you see that? And uh, that's still a little wet. And this one, I don't know if I like this color and I it's probably not going to come through. I didn't finish this one because I wanted to show you the color. It's supposed to be this color that I bought. I finally bought me a couple of Lindy's. And it's an ugly brown, actually. And then I spritzed pink over it. And maybe I will keep it or maybe I will just put it in the garbage. I don't, this is such a funny color. I don't know what to use it for. And then I've had these two punches for a long time these two and then I was making and I can't make them very good but this is with the little one and I put stickles uh, over that also this is from this one and uh, this also I just added more petals on this one and again I did the stickle thingies and these two are the big one this one and I mean I'm trying to make it look like the roses you see on I am roses and stuff but I am not there yet so when my neck sto stops hurting for good I will try again because I mean they're okay but I'm not 100% pleased I, I just have to keep trying that's all and I started these for someone that uh, doesn't like the shabby chic colors necessarily. And I wanted to make uh, some ballerina shoes for her. And they look like this when you print it off the computer. And it's a baby shoe. So what I had to do is make this narrower and this narrower and cut this off completely. And I just cut and cut and cut till I 
had this. This is my template now. All I have is a template because I can't download this on printed paper because if I mess up cutting it, you know. So I just made me a template. So this and let me find out. Uh, oh no. Ah, here. And this is the bottom of the shoe. And you see the difference. Look at the difference. Can you see the difference in the size? How much I had to cut away? And that's why it took me several tries. See? Can you see the difference? But I have so much fun making these. I made three pairs already, and this is going to be my last pair. And this is for someone that's not necessarily into the shabby chic, although she does shabby chic beautifully, but those aren't her personal favorite colors. So this is going to be actually a little bit challenging for me because I'm not used to working with uh, earth tones or blacks and stuff. So wish me good luck with these. <laughs> So now I'm going to take my loopy pills and uh, probably go to sleep. And it's early, but uh, that's what those pills do. So I try not to take them. Okay, again, happy and blessed Easter. Be good to each other. And thanks to all of my subscribers. I, uh, you don't know what this means to me. You're just great, great people. I actually formed close friendships uh, with this YouTube thing, which to me is uh, unbelievable. I mean, it's something that my mind can't even wrap around, maybe because I'm old <laughs> with all this um, media stuff. But to make friends like this is amazing, and I'm ever so blessed to have you all in my life. And thank you again, guys. Thank you so much for your support and always your sweet, kind comments. Have a great weekend, and I hope you all have wonderful weather. We have wonderful weather till Monday. <laughs> okay, bye-bye now.